Hey Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I watched during the month of January, so stick around. So I was able to watch at least one movie each day during the month of January, so I wanted to take time today to tell you what all I watched. Um, if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to be following along on my um, Letterboxd app. So I do have my letterbox link down below if you'd like to follow along with me. The first one that I watched was Highlander. Um, I had never seen this one before. We did get the 4K release, and so I wanted to check it out. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't... It was it was an okay movie. It was it was dated. It felt dated, but I still really enjoyed the film. So very happy that I was able to watch that. The second film I watched was Coraline. It had been a long time since I had seen this one. I did get the 4K release, um, so I wanted to check it out in 4K. Really enjoyed it. Really good story. Great animation. So I had a really good time with that one. The next one that I watched was White Noise on Netflix. I do believe um, wasn't a really big fan of that one. I thought I was really going to like it. I thought with Adam Driver and everything, it was going to be really good. But I just really couldn't get into it. It was kind of a weird story. Um, the next film that I watched was Hot Fuzz. I had never seen Hot Fuzz before, so I wanted to check out this on 4K. I really had a good time with this one. Great story, a lot of fun. One, um, one of my favorite watches of the month of January. So very happy that I was able to see that. The next one that I watched was R.I.P.D. I had never seen this one before. I um, had a lot of fun with this one also. It does have a it does have a specific style about it and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was some really good fun performances. I know that it gets a lot of hate. The next film that I watched was Candyman on 4K. This right here was the reboot um, or continuation. I never did have the chance to um, check this one out so I finally did check it out and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be from what people's reactions were to it. Um, it wasn't terrible. I really um, kind of enjoyed that one. The next film was The Driver. I had never seen The Driver before. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought I was going to like it more than I did. It was kind of slow paced and I, I, I don't know. I just couldn't get into it. Um, the next film that I watched was The Menu. Um, I had... I was not able to see this one in the theater, and I wanted to check it out, and it did get this Blu-ray release. So, very happy that I was able to check out the menu. Probably another one of my favorites. I thought it was great. Um, the next one that I watched was Pulp Fiction on 4K. Um, I didn't have a chance to watch this one when it was released um, last month. So I did take the time to watch it in January. Really enjoyed it. It had been a long time since I had seen this film. I did see it the first time when it was in the theater, and I think only one time since then. So it was very nice to revisit this, and I really did enjoy that one. The next film I watched was You Were Never Really Here. Um, I really don't know very much about this one. Going into it, I didn't know, I didn't know much about it. And to be honest with you, it was really dark. Um but a really good story and if you haven't if you have not checked this one out this is one that you should check out I thought Joaquin Phoenix did a great job and from what I can remember it was a really good um, story about um, trying to rescue this young girl okay the next film I watched was in the theater I did get a chance to go see the whale in the theater I wanted to see that one on the big screen really enjoyed it I thought it was a great performance a very moving story if you haven't seen the whale definitely check it out Okay, the next film that I watched was Dog. Um, I enjoyed it. It was not as much as... I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to enjoy it, but it wasn't terrible. So I'm um, glad to have that one. The next one was um, Groundhog Day. Um, it got released on 4K with the book, so I wanted to check it out. It had been a few years since I've seen it. Um, always enjoyed this one. It's a great film. Um, the next one I saw was The Loneliest Boy in the World which I did not like at all. Um, I don't know. I thought for whatever reason, I thought it was going to be a really good nostalgic type film, but it was very dull to me. I didn't like it. Um, the next film I really loved. I had never seen Reservoir Dogs before, so I did watch this one. Loved it. It's one of my favorites. Um, then I watched School Ties. Um, I haven't seen this one for several years now. The first time I saw it was in the theater when it came out. I think I've seen it once since. So very happy that I was able to watch this one again. A really great film. Um, the next film I watched was My Bodyguard. 
I'm trying to remember why in the world I was watching all of these older films. So there's a reason for it. But My Bodyguard was really good. I really enjoyed that one. If you've never seen My Bodyguard, definitely check it out. Okay, the next film that I watched was The House. Um, Gizmo um, sent this to me, and I watched it. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to put his link down below. You can check out his channel. Great person, great film lover. Really good, enjoyable film. Okay, after that, I watched another film that he sent me. And I don't know that I can pronounce it correctly, but this right here is a stop-motion animation film. Really good film, very popular in Norway, I would assume. Um, but it does get a lot of love over there, and really enjoyed it. If you have the opportunity to check that one out, definitely check it out. Okay, next up, I watched The Warriors. I'd never seen The Warriors before. I really enjoyed this one. Really, um, I guess it's, uh, it's, it's an older film, I guess from the 80s, maybe the 70s, and it really feels it, but it was very enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, the first time watch for me for this next film was Empire of the Sun. Never seen it before. It's another film from the 80s, I do believe. I really enjoyed it. It was great. A great performance by Christian Bale, who's young in this film, but looks just like he does now. So that was kind of weird. Okay, the next film that I watched was London. I had never seen this one before. Very dialogue-driven. Lots of dialogue. It was kind of... I don't know. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Actually, I'd never heard of it before, so I don't know what my expectations were. But it was just okay. Um, I don't think I'll be revisiting that one anytime soon. Um, the next one I watched was because of... We were doing a Harrison Ford live stream. So I watched Hollywood Homicide. I had never seen it before. Of course, it's got Josh Hartnett in it also. Um, but Hollywood Homicide was enjoyable. It wasn't the best thing. But I watched O. Um, I had never seen O before. Loved it. I thought it was really good. Um, I don't know. I say I loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, it... it um, Felt very much like the 90s, and um, good story. The next film I watched was Air Force One. Of course, I love this film. It had been a long time since I've seen it, so I enjoyed that one. Witness was the next one I watched. Um, been a long time since I've seen Witness. It's probably one of Harrison Ford's best films. And then I started watching <clears throat> Clint Eastwood films for a Clint Eastwood live stream I'll be doing. So I watched all of the Dirty Harry films. So I got I watched Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. Um, Dirty Harry was great, but the other ones were just not as great. Um, they weren't terrible, but I didn't really enjoy them as much as I did Dirty Harry. Um, after, I get, after I got done watching those each day, I watched these two films, Every Which Way But Loose and Any Which Way You Can. I saw these back when I was a kid. I remember really enjoying them, but when I revisited them, they did not hold up very well for me. I did not enjoy them very much. Um, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy them. Um, the next film that I watched was Morning Glory, which is another Harrison Ford film that I had to purchase because I didn't have it in the collection. was not even aware of this film until the live stream that I was on with Huck and the guys. Um, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a pretty good romantic comedy, and so very happy to have that one in the collection. The next film that I watched was Beast. Um, Beast was not as good as I wanted it to be. Um, the story was kind of lacking. The, um, the, the lines were kind of interesting, but the story was kind of dull. I didn't really enjoy it. And then the last one that I watched in January was The Frisco Kid, another Harrison Ford film. Um, really enjoyed this one. It's got, um, it's got Gene Wilder in it. The first 30 minutes was really not good for me, but after that point, it really got very interesting. I thought it was really fun. Um, a nice little comedic western. Um, if you've never seen this film, I would definitely, ch um, highly, I would highly recommend you check that out. So those are the films that I watched during the month of January. Please leave me a comment below. 
Let me know what you think about these films and maybe let me know some of the films that you watched during the month of January because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.